Hi, Dr. Whit Roberts here. And yes, the bacteria in your bowel may be the reason you can cut your calories in half and work out five times a week and still struggle with extra weight. To prove this, scientists did a fascinating experiment. I'm going to simplify it, but in essence, they had two groups of mice, a skinny group and a fat group. They removed the feces of the fat mice and injected them into the bowels of the skinny mice, and the skinny mice got fat. So what they discovered was that the fat mice had bacteria and other microbes in their bowels that converted normally indigestible sugars into fatty acids, which were absorbed and stored as fat. In other words, the fat mice processed carbs into fat while the skinny mice pooped the carbs out, all because of the microbes in their gut. So does this translate to humans? Absolutely. They found the same thing in twins when one was overweight and the other one lean. The overweight twin had the bad microbes that convert carbs to fat more efficiently. And really, that's just the beginning. These microorganisms have also been found to cause other metabolic changes in the body that lead to obesity. They can actually change the metabolism of your liver, your kidneys, and even your brain. The composition of microorganisms in your gut is referred to as our gut flora. Our gut flora doesn't just influence our weight. It is thought to influence whether we get certain diseases such as asthma, eczema, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, depression, colitis, fatty liver, and the list goes on and on. These microorganisms control an enormous number of functions in our bodies. In fact, we couldn't exist without them. They cover us in an, an invisible living body armor that keeps environmental insults out. They, di they digest our food, make our vitamins, produce immune chemicals, and perform many, many other vital functions. The problem, whether it be extra unwanted pounds, depression, or some disease, occurs when there is a change in the makeup of your healthy gut flora, allowing the bad bacteria to flourish. So why do the bad bacteria grow out of control? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but probably the most significant way we damage our gut flora is through the use of antibiotics. Antibiotics are tremendously overprescribed. Other ways to damage the microflora of your gut include exposure to chlorinated water, antibacterial soap, agricultural chemicals, pollution, and most importantly, sugar and processed foods like white flour. Sugar feeds the bad bacteria and yeast, slows the transit time, keeping more toxins in your body, and thus changes the composition of flora in your gut. The problem is that all of us are exposed to these things all the time. We all eat too much sugar. Our meats are loaded with antibiotics, and we drink chlorinated water. So what are we to do? Well, a little over a year ago, I put my wife on some supplements. And within a month, her weight was dropping effortlessly. She kept asking me what was in those supplements because she wasn't changing her lifestyle at all. So what did I give her? I gave her three supplements. The first one was called Zymex. And this is a special mold that converts carbohydrates into lactic acid. And this acidifies the bowel. Now most of you have heard that we are too acidic and need to alkalinize our bodies. Well, that's not true in the bowel. Your intestines should be somewhat acidic. The acid kills bad bacteria and yeast, particularly the kind that cause room clearing gas. Zymex is, is fantastic to take with antibiotics and is a very, very good detoxifier of the colon. The second supplement was gut flora complex. And this is a good formula to help anytime there's, a, there's a, the wrong balance of bacteria, yeast, and other microbes in the bowel. In vitro testing showed that the combination of herbs and essential oils in gut flora complex completely stopped the growth of bad organisms such as Candida, E. coli, Klebsiella, and Salmonella. The third supplement was prebiotic inulin. Most of you have heard of probiotics. Well, this is a prebiotic, and prebiotics are soluble fibers that your body can't digest. And since these aren't broken down in your body, they ferment. And it's this fermentation that gives some amazing benefits to your body. First, it feeds primarily good bacteria. So as gut flora complex kills the bad bugs, this supports the growth of the best organisms. It has also been shown to reduce appetite and stimulate the immune system. As a side note, I wasn't giving these to my wife for weight loss. That was just a side benefit. In this video, I'm talking about weight loss, but in reality, your gut health is critical for all aspects of your health. Now, these three were the best supplements for my wife. Others may be more important for you. For example, I didn't give my wife a probiotic, and probiotics are tremendously beneficial in some cases. 
And today, we have hundreds if not thousands of different probiotic formulas to consider. We have live organisms as well as very beneficial dead probiotics. We have probiotics that slow the bowels if you have diarrhea, speed up the bowels if you have constipation, those that are specifically for irritable bowel, and some are soil-based organisms. The critical point I'm making is that the balance of organisms in your bowel is extremely important for proper weight management as well as optimal health. And here's the take home message, the simple things you can do on your own. One, take antibiotics only when they're absolutely necessary. Two, filter out the chlorine from your drinking water. And three, eat fermented foods like kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurt, etc. And four, eat antibiotic free meats. Five, reduce or avoid sugar, sodas, processed foods, and too many carbs. Now these few simple things should help to prevent the overgrowth of bad bacteria and yeast. But if you think you already have a problem, consider these supplements. Supplements that, number one, acidify the gut. Two, kill the bad bugs. Three, promote growth of the good bacteria. And four, re-inoculate the bowel with beneficial strains of bacteria. Even if you don't need to lose weight, making sure your bowel flora is appropriately balanced is one of the most important things you can do for your own health. If you'd like help with this, please give us a call at Health Utah. You can even call if you'd just like to be tested to find the best combination of supplements for your particular needs. And if there's any other way we can help, please just let us know.